Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well in our last video we showed you how to offset columns or the contents of columns so that they overlap sections like we've got here. We had a question on that. Somebody said well can you do that left and right? Yep absolutely you can. And so today I'm going to show you how to do that. We've just got two columns here. Content in both of them. We've got them overlapping left and right as well as up and down really easy to do. So let's get started. I've got my Elementor open. So let's go down. I'll just simply delete this section. Now let's add a new section. little plus icon to add a new section. Inside I'm going to put an image module like we had there and a text module. So if we go back to our matrix up here, we get an image and I'm going to add a new column, a little dark tab here to add a new column. You do this with as many as you want. I'm just going to use two today. Let's actually put an image in our image column here. doesn't matter what we put in there. OK, so now let's put a text module over here. What we'll do, we'll overlap them like we did before. So let's go back to our matrix. Let's get a little text module. Left click, drag it, drop it over there. I want a little more text than that, so I'm going to go over to lipsum.com and grab a bit of text. And we'll put it in right here. Okay, so we've got a reasonable amount of text in there. Next thing I want to do is I want to put a background in here and just space this out a bit so we can overlap it so we can see it. So let's go into the styling. I'm going to leave the text pretty much like it is. I think I'll change the color to black. Alignment wise, I'm going to pop it into the middle. I want to go over. I'm going to give it some padding all around. Let's say give it 50 picks all around. I think that'll work. Maybe more than I need there. We'll see. OK, let's give it a background color. I'm going to hit the little paintbrush, hit the little color. And let's give it a sort of light blue. So that writing stands out nicely. I think I've got more than I need there. So let's just take away some of that content. There we go. That's fine. I might add a little bit more padding top and bottom. So if we go to our Let's add, make that 60. That'll do, that's close enough. Okay, so now we want to drop this down and we want to overlap it with our little image right here. So to do that, on the top, let's uncheck the chain because I don't want to do all of them at once. So on the top, I'm going to give it positive 100. That'll push it down by 100. There we go. Now I want to pull it across a little bit. And to keep them central, I'm going to pull this one across by 50, and I'm going to pull this one across by 50. So we'll have a nice overlap, but they'll still be fairly central. So to do that, on the left-hand side here, I'm going to give it a negative margin. You can just type it in, or you can drop down and give it negative, like this. I'm going to just stick a zero on the end. As you can see, that's pulled that across by 50. So now we want to go into this one. And we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to go to Advanced, Margin. And on the right hand side, I'm going to pull it across by negative 50. And I want to uncheck the chain before I do this. So I don't want to do all of them. I just want to do the right hand side. And add a zero. And as you can see, that's crossed that over, so they're now overlapping with each other. Now this has stretched it because we've got no padding on the left-hand side, or no margin, I should say. So if you want to keep it the same size, you want to put a positive one on the left-hand side. There we go, so the image is the same size as it was. And similar for this one. We go in here, we'll put a positive on the right-hand side, and that will remain the same. And just to make that interesting, while we're in here, let's make this a title. So I'm going to drop that down, 
and let's make it a heading 5 or something. There we go, fantastic. So there we've got our overlapping little sections there. Now one thing you want to bear in mind when you're doing this sort of thing is on responsive devices because it might look good on a tablet but you might want to change it and it's probably not going to work on a phone. So if we go into either module and let's go to our advanced here and look at the margin at the top you see a little desktop icon click on it let's have a look at it on a tablet yeah I mean that's okay and on the tablet we're on the tablet version that's why there's nothing in here we could make that a little bit bigger by taking all the margin away simply put a zero in there now let's take the chain off and we'll give it some negative right and it'll make it grow a little bit and you can do as much as you want we can make that 100 so they're really overlapping like that that's a little more interesting on the tablet and we could take the margin away from that one this one on the right hand side so again uncheck the chain we don't want to do them all at once there we go that's kind of more interesting looking like that on the tablet then if we go to a phone view and of course you do exactly what you want to do here okay that one's not too bad but we really want to make them all zero so it's all central they're slightly left and right there so go into whichever one you want margin leave the chain checked if for this one because we want it to do all sides zero that'll centralize it bottom one doesn't look too bad but we'll just check we'll go in there we'll put a zero there as well so that's nice and central now so it looks fine on the phone tablet that's pretty much fine too or you could just take it away like we did on the phone check this got zero there on this one let's keep it to zero on this one and you just got a regular left and right there and then of course on the desktop we've got our little overlapping sections right there let's update preview our changes here let's just refresh this make sure we got the right one there we go because I think we were looking at our old one there and there it is there is how to offset columns left right up and down like I say we're not actually offsetting the columns we're just offsetting the content within that column so I hope that answered that question for you. And this is common to all things with, with margins. You can have negative and positive. Works with HTML and it works with Bootstrap just as well. So there you go, guys. There's how to offset your columns. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.